Ukraine's All-American Pipeline rupture last month may have been averted if an automatic shutoff valve was in the system. That's what we've been hearing from many analysts since that terrible oil leak. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri recalls a similar accident back in 1997. John, an automatic valve there worked, but not for long. Yeah, we all remember those of us who were on the South Vandenberg Air Force Beach back then, seeing all that oil and tar, similar to what we saw at Refugio. This was in 1997. A pipe broke from Platform Irene in near shore waters. It did have an automatic shutoff valve, and it worked until humans got involved. It's a lesson to remember when we are considering whether or not these automatic shutoff systems are indeed the safest ones we can put on these pipes when they start to leak. It was an oil leak that could have been avoided off the northern Santa Barbara County coastline in September of 1997. This is the break in the 20-inch oil pipeline between Platform Irene offshore and torch operations onshore facilities. An underwater pipe broke near the shoreline. It's relevant today because some have said all the environmental and economic fallout from the Plains All-American Pipeline rupture last month near Refugio State Beach could have been averted if that line had an automatic shutdown system when there was a problem. The results have been calculated in the multi-millions of dollars along with dead animals and shorebirds. But in 1997, Platform Irene did have an automatic shutdown system and there was still a 10 to 20,000 gallon spill. Environmental attorney Linda Kropp was on the scene. The pipeline shut down and then an operator noticed the pipeline had been shut down and overrode it and said, oh my gosh, got to get the pipeline going. That's what resulted in the oil spill. Um, I did go out to that spill and it was, you know, kind of comparable to this one. Air and natural gas bubbles came out of the pipeline crack for a couple of days after an estimated 21,000 gallons of oil leaked into the ocean. The spill reached the beach on South Vandenberg property, an area not open to the public, but a site with tar balls and dead animals that resulted in a large scale response. Teams of cleanup crews and animal rescue experts. Also, the county at that time was not given a voice in that response. And it got worse near the San Ynez River mouth before it was better. The spill that time started offshore and came onshore. So the opposite of this one. And the agency said, oh, don't worry, the spill won't travel that far. Well, it did and mm -hmm. caused significant damage. So this time around, the county has been more involved. Now, as we know, the Plains All-American Pipeline at Refugio did not have an automatic shutdown system. The company says that they felt more comfortable with human operators watching the gauges and reacting to some of the flow patterns that might be alarming. Whether or not it gets one when it's repaired is still to be determined, and there's plenty of time to figure that out, because what we're hearing is, is it's going to be many months, possibly a year or more, before that line is operational once again. We'll certainly keep you posted. Reporting live overlooking the Santa Barbara Channel this evening, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, John.